Hello and greetings. On this video, I'll show how to set up a soft ether VPN. We're going to set up a the server and the client. So let's go ahead and jump in. Over here, I have a Windows 7 and a Windows 10 computer. What we're going to do is we're going to set up the Windows 7 to be the server and the Windows 10 to be the actual client. Um, so let me go ahead and move this out of the way. And let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to end up doing is we're going to go to uh, soft ether.org so soft ether.org okay so here we're gonna go straight to the downloads okay so download soft ether VPN and right here download soft ether VPN okay and we're going to be greeted by, you know, what we're going to download. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the, the Soft Ether Server Manager for Windows. Then the platform is going to be Windows. And I should be able to, here it is right here. So it's the very first one. So let's go ahead and click on it. We're going to save it. And we're going to let it download. Okay, so the download is complete. What we're going to do now is going to close our browser. And now I'm going to navigate to my download folder. But before we go too far, we need to get the IP of this computer. So let's go ahead and open our command prompt. So I'm going to go to start CMD. Okay, and then IP config. And my IP address is, I'm looking at the last octet, 130. So 130 is going to be the, the server. So I'm going to go ahead and now I'm ready to execute this. So I'm just going to double click on it. And we're going to go ahead and run. Let me close this so it's not in the way. Okay, so now once we're greeted by the actual installer, we're going to click on Next. And it's going to tell you, you know, a warning. Click on Yes. So once you're greeted by this section, you're going to go ahead and select Soft Ether VPN Server. Click on Next. And if you agree to their terms and conditions, Put the check mark on the green, click on next, and click on next. So this would be the location that's going to install. So defaults are fine, click on next, and it's ready to install. Click on next, and now we let it install. Okay, so now you can see it's, it's installed. We go ahead and click on finish. Okay, so once it starts, you're going to be greeted by this piece right here. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to highlight this and click on Edit. Okay, so here is going to be what the host ID or the host name is going to be. We're going to keep it at host name or we just enter the IP, which is one, oops, 192.168.1.130. Oops, 1.30. And we're going to use for, for this example, we're going to use port 5555. The site name, I'm going to call this uh, VPN. Okay. And then here at the bottom right, I'm going to go ahead and put a password. And press OK. So once that's done, you'll notice that now everything changed. Click on Connect. And then it's going to ask you for the password. At the very beginning, 
the password is blank. So we're going to press OK. And then it's going to ask you for your new password. So now I'm going to enter my new password. Press OK. And now everything got changed. Once we're here, it's going to ask you how you want to set, set up your unit. I'm going to set up a typical setup where you are going to be setting up if a VPN server at either at your place of business or at your house or whatever you're going to do. And you're going to be connecting through v VPN clients remotely into the facility, either being your house or business. So I'm going to go ahead and select the very top one, remote, and press next. The answer here would be yes. And then the name of, it, of the hub is going to be called VPN. Or maybe you could call it home or the name of your business or the name, name of your customer. I mean, it, it really is whatever you want. Click on OK. And now here, it's going to generate your dynamic DNS if you want. Um, I'm not going to use this, so I'm just going to go ahead and exit. Here you could also set up to enable the L2TP over IP. That works well under for a lot of different devices. And also enable the LPT for server function. That's it, It's really up to you if you want to set that up ahead of time. Um, if you're going to be interacting with... Uh, you know, higher end uh, firewalls. It's here. You don't need to set that that part up. I mean, this is just optional. So we're gonna click on OK. And then I'm gonna bypass this. But if you want the service to be relayed through through their their service, you can enable or disable it. I'm gonna disable it and press OK. I just want to get through this whole thing. Now, at this point, you're gonna be created by. You're, excuse me, you're going to be greeted by uh, create a user. You do have to set up a user, uh, at least one user. So I'm going to click on create. And my username is going to be client1. I just have a habit of setting up just as, as a habit. I'll set up different certificates, client1, client2, client3, or the name of the client, whatever it is. I mean, but that's really however you want to do it. And this is going to be client1 for my case. So then once you, you uh, enter the client, then you're ready to move on to, to creating the certificate. So here we're on the right, we're going to go ahead and click on Create Certificate. And now here, if you notice, the, the name is going to be Client1. Organization, I'm going to call this FreelanceTech.com. The unit is going to be the IT department. Country is going to be US. State is going to be Texas. Location is going to be Houston. And that's it. We're going to press OK. And I'm going to select to save it as an X509 certificate. And I'm also going to put, put a phrase. Okay. Now the phrase is optional. I do recommend it. It's just an extra set, set of security. So it's, it's not, you know, but it's up to you. I would recommend putting a phrase. Press OK. And now the certificate itself, I'm going to call it client one. So I just keep it consistent. The key you notice is already going to be called client one. Save that. And the certificates are done. So now that piece is done. Now we can go ahead and press. If you notice, it's already done. Client one. We're going to go ahead and save it by pressing OK. Client one has been created. And here it is. Okay. Now we can go ahead and exit this. And now we're going to select what, which uh, network card we're going to use. I'm going to select the internal one. Okay. And we're going to press close. Now this is actually running. And if you notice the ports that are listening, I recommend just opening one port and keeping that one port open. Don't keep a bunch of them open. But that's just my suggestion. Um, so now we're ready with this part. Now we need to get that certificate over to the to your client. So remember, I went to my documents. 
so here's my two certificates. So I need to somehow get this these two certificates over to either my thumb drive or my customer emailed or whatever you're gonna do. But that's the this is what you need to to give to your customer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna transfer it over to my flash drive. Okay, so now let's go ahead and bring over our Windows 10. So I already set, loaded this thing, uh, those client or the keys, I already loaded them on this computer. Let me zoom in. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, okay, so here's the, the two certificates. Okay, I mean the, the key and certificate. So what I'm gonna do now is go back to that soft ether.org. Okay, and then we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to soft ether.org. And again, what we're gonna do is click on download. And we're gonna download soft ether VPN. Then here we're going to select component. Now we're going to download the client. Platform is going to be Windows. And it's x86. And here it is right here. Click on it. We're going to let it download. Okay, there it is wrapping, wrapping up the download. Okay, so that's done. Now we can actually close this out. And we're going to go to our download folder. And here it is right here. So, and I can switch it over to a larger view. So here it is. All I'm going to do is just double click on it. Now remember, this would be either on your client computer that you're going to remotely connect or your customers, whatever. I mean, however you're going to be setting up the VPN. Okay, let me close this so that could run. Okay, and then we're gonna click on next. And we're gonna do just the client. That's all we need. Click on next. If you agree to the terms, I agree. And next. And if you agree to all this, I recommend dumping on the on the default location, but that's really up to you. Um, click on next now. And next. And let it install. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and, and leave the check on. And you know what? Let me go ahead and zoom in a, li a little bit more. Yeah, that 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 would be better. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click on finish. So then you're gonna be greeted by by the actual manager here, what you're gonna do is double click on add VPN connection, double click on it. And then it's gonna tell you that you don't have no VPN connection set up. So that if you wanna set up an adapter, press yes. The name of it is gonna be VPN or whatever you want. Press okay. And then you let it generate uh, an adapter. Okay, and now if you notice, it generated an adapter with a MAC address and everything. Now we're ready to add a VPN connection. Double click on it. And I'm going to call this under the site name or setting his name, excuse me. I'm going to call it client one because it's going to be connecting to the actual client. Now under host name would be either the, the site name meaning, uh, you know, vpn.mycompany.com or whatever, the the WAN IP that you need to connect to. On my case, I'm going to type in just IP. 130, that's my server. Then I'm going to select the port, which is, remember, it's 555. So then the next thing you're going to do is you are going to go ahead and 
select what kind of certificate you're going to do. So we're going to get client certificate authentication. Remember we did a, the name was client one. And then we're going to specify where the client certificate is. So we're going to click on that. And remember how I dumped it on the desktop? There it is right here. So you would navigate either to your download folder or wherever the file is. Click on open. And then where the key is. Remember I dumped it also on the desktop. There's the key. And then the phrase, remember? Enter the phrase that, that you set up ahead of time. And press OK. Once we got that going, we're going to press OK. And now you notice we're offline. So let, let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. OK. So we can actually see both computers running at the same time. OK. So all you're going to do is right click to this and click on connect. If you notice it's connecting, it's negotiating, it authenticated, and now the VPN is actually kicking in with 209. Now we're connected. Now we're physically connected to this VPN server. You can notice now the sessions one. We're online and there's no errors. We're actually literally on the VPN through this comp other computer here. So just remember to open the right ports. Other than that, you're up and running. Again, all that good jazz. Subscribe, thumbs up, and hopefully that this helped. Thanks a lot.